Hey, my name is Race Robinson with the West Element LTD. Welcome to 213 South Chillicothe Street, formerly known as the Village Administration Building, among other things. I'm really excited to share uh, where we're going as the station moving forward, cover a little bit of history today, and to give you some insights on, on uh, what the future state might look like. We're real excited to show you. Hey, so we're in the former lobby and what will continue to be the future lobby of the old administration building. I'm not a whole lot going on here, so I'd like to take us into the collaboration break room and talk a little bit about uh, that space. So follow me inside. So welcome to the former Village Chamber Council Chambers. Uh, before I talk a little bit about the work that's been done, I'd like to just cover a brief history of the building and the space. This building actually used to be a two-story school building through the late 1800s and early 1900s. At that time, they removed the second story of the building, transformed this into the fire department, the jail department, the water department, and the village administration building, which is pretty remarkable for the time. So this has a rich tradition um, and a lot of history in this space, and we've uncovered a lot of amazing things I'm excited to show. So we'll start with the chalkboard in the corners. When this building was converted in 1921 from the school building, they promptly covered up quite a few historic pieces of the building, one of which is this chalkboard uh, that a lot of uh, children and potential inmates had carved into, signed, put dates on, drew intricate pictures of, and we're really excited to have uncovered that behind an old chimney. And we're looking forward to preserving that um, and making it a part of our finished product of the space. So again, we're in the collaboration and break room. And so we want this environment to be inviting and fun and have a lots of adventure in it and those kinds of things and incorporating that, those cool historical pieces of the history of this space. You'll also notice that I'm standing in front of some jail cell bars. These were actually hidden uh, in the walls themselves. So there was plaster on both sides of the walls and we didn't really know that this was here until after we started demo and removing a lot of that plaster and things of that nature. And uh, sitting right before us were these hidden jail cell bars. And so we anticipate that this is where the police chief and his uh, teammates would then serve and communicate with the prisoners on the other side of the jail cells, which is really cool. So we're excited to keep that historical element as well. The other piece that I want to call out from here is you'll notice that we've installed actually two arches in this space. Uh, really important. This arch in particular was hidden in the wall as well, just like the jail cell bars. Um, we blew it open a little bit, put a beautiful intricate arch to allow access into the space from the room adjacent to this and really make it a more open collaborative space where people can gather and move freely throughout. So as we move forward, welcome to the co-working space on the other side of that amazing uh, brick wall. You'll notice in here that there are also some jail cell bars that are still remaining within the windows. We've uh, done our best to preserve those. We're excited about keeping those in place and bringing a, a unique architectural element and a piece of that history to this space as well. So we're standing in what will be a room full of drop-in kind of couches and a lounge area where people can sit, converse, collaborate on some projects and those kinds of things and really uh, bring a communal element to the space and uh, bring out more of that intimate feeling between people working in and out of these spaces and bring in friends in for meetings and those kinds of things. So we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna to move to the new connector, which I'm excited about as well. This will be a main entrance for all of those that are uh, members of the space. They'll get in with their key fobs and access their private offices and things in the future. Uh, we will have two brand new ADA bathrooms here to service all of our members, as well as five individual six month or a year plus office rentals right in front here facing South Chillicothe Street. So pretty awesome space. Um, it's meant to be the main entrance for the building for all those members and their guests. And uh, really excited about adding some of the square footage and uh, ability for others to really be here, collaborate and be a part of this atmosphere. So this hasn't been done before between two historic buildings in this town that I'm aware of. Um, so really excited about bringing a new element to Plain City with this type of project. So 
What you'll also notice behind me here is the second oldest house in Plain City, also known as the Allen House, built in the mid 1800s. We are actually converting that house to six private offices. Before we progress and show you down the hallway here, uh, we actually are really excited. So the original door for this house was in the basement from the mid 1800s. And so we're actually going through the process right now to restore and preserve that with Mark Troyer, our general contractor, so that we can remount it on the uh, front portion of the building here as the main entrance from uh, the curb. So let's walk with me a little bit. Um, so as we progress through this first floor here, we're not gonna go upstairs, but we'll have two offices to your right and your left as you walk in, that'll be a realtor. And then as we progress down the hallway here a little bit, will be uh, two private offices as well. That'll be part of a financial services company that's next door, Everance Financial Services. And uh, this will be their private space uh, on this side with this brick wall that we'll take back out um, to expose into the other room and create that flow for that private tenant. Um, immediately to my left will be the exit of the traditional Allen house back into that connector where we just were a few moments ago, bridging the gap between old and new for all of our tenants. So we're back in the main village administration building, firehouse, schoolhouse, however you'd like to refer to it. Right behind me used to be a private office. We'll continue to be utilized somewhat similarly with a huddle room with a glass wall here to allow light to flow. Directly in front of me will actually be the main reception area. And there's great flow around this whole space from the community area out to what is known as the fire bay and we'll head there next show you what that's going to look so like. again we're in the fire bay um, this is really exciting space actually this is going to be more of a communal vibe where you'll have daily drop-in uh, tenants in the space working at tall tables some chairs and smaller tables some couches those kinds of things what's really unique is that garage door will be all glass uh, right in front of me which will allow us to have an indoor outdoor um, type of space where even people coming down the street that don't have a membership could actually come in, have a coffee, hang out with somebody for a few minutes, have a conversation, maybe two moms with their children play in here for a little bit and really make it an inviting space where people will want to come and hang out. So directly to my left is actually the old firefighter bedroom, which is pretty unique in and of itself. That will be turned into three private offices as well adding to the vibrancy of this area and really utilizing the space as best we can. And then lastly, directly behind me, uh, this will be a glass garage door as well. And on the other side of that glass garage door will be a large meeting space for 40 to 50 people. So really that's gonna be the main corporate meeting type of space where we'll have a lot of engagement. People come from outside of Plain City to see our beautiful town, experience the rich history and culture, and really dive into the space and uh, make some things happen. So that's really exciting. And then lastly, through the left over here behind me, there will be another garage door actually that goes to an amazing outdoor space that'll have a fire pit, patio furniture, and allow those exterior elements to add to the ambiance and experience of the space as well. So welcome to the old fire bay, now future meeting spaces and collaboration spaces. Thank you so much for joining us behind the scenes here at the station today where we've shown you all the amazing work that's happening on these historic downtown properties where we're trying to breathe new life. I'm really excited to show you what the future looks like in the finished product. And until then, have a nice day. Oh, hey guys, you're still here? Sorry, it was a long journey. My molars were starting to float. Don't mind that.